What is up my fellow net dwellers, Couch Command here, and today I am going to be teaching you how to use the admin menu in Conan Exiles. I was unaware of it, which is why I spent over 20 plus hours just trying to get those mods working for my last videos. But I'm going to show you some of the things as far as how to enable the admin menu, as well as some of the features of the admin menu, some of the advantages of using it. If this video helps you out, please make sure you hit that like button, comment down below on what you're going to use the admin menu for, and subscribe to the channel for more weekly content. Now let's jump into it. Hello all, so I'd like to introduce you to my 20 hour plus game of Conan Exiles. Why am I introducing this to you? One, to show you where I'm at, and two, to show how fast you can get here if you know this simple trick. So this is where I'm at. Relatively nice build. Got a couple of improved furnaces, thrall pots, thrall will. Got a ton of stuff, all right? Now, how quick it is to get here is because whenever you come into settings, you go over to server settings and you make yourself an admin. Now, once you have admin access, you basically are king of the world. You can do whatever you want. Now, as far as how to use this and how fast you can grow, I'll go ahead and show you. So say hello to my 20 hour save. Now say goodbye to my 20 hour save. And say hello to my new character. Now let's see how fast it takes me to get this character to level 60. So we come in here, we go to settings, server settings, make me an admin. Admin panel. And let's go ahead and just set level to level 60. Why? And now we are officially level 60 with 390 points available. It can build all the stuff we could before. Now let's go ahead and head back to the admin menu. And let's say I want to not be seen by enemies. Let me go ahead and find some enemies. There should be a bird right up here. So here's what invisibility does. Basically, you can get up close and personal with any fight, and they're not going to attack you. They can't see you. They don't understand you're here. Next, you can, you know, make yourself fly if you want to. Jump will make you go up. Crouch will make you go down. That's just the basic supply there. You can switch it back to walk whenever you want. So that was cloak that let me get up close to him. Invisibility actually makes your character fully invisible, apparently. You have the option of Dim I God, which I want to say will make it so I don't take some damage. Or at least damage is decreased. Let's go ahead and pick a fight here real quick. Yeah, I'm not appearing to take damage from these guys. Also, if you're annoyed with your whole hunger and thirst thing, you can go ahead and turn that off. You can also increase all your stuff there if you want to. And just like that, you're back up to the max as far as that goes. But it does appear like Dim I Got grants you invincibility from most things. I don't know what it grants you invincibility from that is more than God. Or less than God. Because Dim I Got should be less, right? That's just how it works. Dim I Got is like Hercules, God is Zeus. Hercules is really, really strong, but can still die. Zeus. Still really, really strong and can't die. I just realized there's a big paradox as far as Greek gods go. Uh, out of breath, not taking damage. Huh. Supposedly fall damage was still supposed to affect me, but... Let me double check to make sure I only have Dim I got applied. 
Yeah, I only have my gut applied. So it looks like God also adds the environmental abilities from status effects. So Demi God, you can still get hit with like uh, stagger and all that. Now let's go on to the next thing in the admin menu. God, which prevents all stuff. No sprint cost, so I can run forever. Ghost, ooh, that's interesting. So ghost gives you, looks like ghost is fly. No building cost, of course. So if I actually come into my building menu here. Oh, I disabled hunger and thirst. That's why that's not enabled. Why it's not affecting me. Uh, ooh. Let's see how fast I move at a five times movement multiplier. Oh, I can get used to that. That is, that is too fast. Ooh, I took damage that time too. also spawn NPCs if you wanted to, like these guys here. You can also get your player list and go ahead and ban whitelist other players. And if you actually wanted to build instead, we go ahead and minimize that. You can spawn anything you want here, so let's go with, uh... What was I working on again? What are these called? Black Ice Reinforce. So let's go ahead and go back to Admin Panel. Let's go with Star... Sword. Oh, those are weapon schematics. Eh, building. Here, there we go. Sword. Uh, star. Okay. So Star Metal Pickaxe. Star Metal Pick. Star Metal Siddle. Star Metal Greatsword. Star Metal Shield. And I don't know what makes good armor, so... Let's just type in armor and see what we get. Armor. Nope. Heavy. Heavy helmet, paladins, gauntlet, sabatons. Ooh. Veneer. Durable. Alright. Okay, Croc, let's see what this does to you. Really, Star Metal Greatsword is not doing a ton of damage. Huh. So that's how you use it to spawn weapons that you want. Let's go ahead and just make a base real quick by spawning in the base items we want. So admin panel, building. That was reinforced, so re... Black. Ice. Ice. Okay, let's go ahead and do sections of 100. And let's go ahead and do... I... Let's only do 10 of the doors. And then... Uh, 
Where's the foundation? Oh, there it is. Let's do 100 of the wooden walls. I think no building cost basically makes it. You'll notice I still haven't lost any from my hundred. Let me double check and make sure I didn't double spawn them. Yeah. So that's what no building cost does. It basically makes it so you only have to have one of an item and you can keep placing internally. That's kind of cool.
And just like that, we're now at the same point we were, well, actually we're way, way ahead of where we were before. We've got a Master Armored Animal Tamer, a Greater Wheel of Pain, we've got our Stables, we have a Tanner, Blacksmith, Armorer, Carpenter, we got our Thrall Pots, we've got a couple of different Forges, Furnaces and Kilns, Dryer, we have an entire room dedicated to just cooking food. We've got the precision fireplaces and all that. We have an alchemist station. And then we have the tinkerer's bench right up here. All I really got to do is add furniture to this place, but all of this was done in an hour and a half. And like the first half hour was basically me just messing around and almost all of it was just me building stuff. So, using the admin menu, you can get as far ahead as you want. You can hit max level almost instantly. I mean, the admin control panel is just something to make sure you're aware it exists and utilize if you need to. I'd say your number one reason you're going to have to use it is if you are playing single player or co-op, your server session starts over every single time you start up your server or i.e. whenever you go into your game. And Star Metal only spawns four hours after initial startup. So unless you're going to be playing for eight hours a day, you're never going to see Star Metal that day. In which case, the admin panel will make it so you can spawn Star Metal. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any suggestions for other games or mods that you'd like to see on the channel, please message me on Twitter at CouchCommand, that's CouchCMD, or feel free to hit me up in my Discord. Link's up at the top of my channel page or over in my description. Make sure you hit that like button if this video helped you out. Comment down below on what you're going to use admin menu for, and subscribe to the channel for more weekly modding content. This was CouchCommand. Y'all have a good night, a great tomorrow, and an amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.